Good afternoon, everyone. Um, the title of this uh, presentation is about um, how we can prevent joining some people to terrorist group. And I believe that everyone heard about the uh, yesterday news about a Manhattan um, terrorist attack. And it would be something that we can think about this and we can you know, consider this article as a cure of this kind of people. Um, antisocial personality disorder, we can name such a people that join to the terrorist group because um, as a psychologist, um, research and they gather these people as a um, case of study and um, this article also is a case study that um, happened in Iran and it's happening in Iran uh, in a psychologist clinic and um, they got some good uh, results from uh, the, this method, this new method uh, which actually they actually uh, work in this clinic. Um, a person who suffers from this, the, this order cannot adapt to social standard and has no feeling of guilt and, uh, and anxiety in, related, um, in relation of his behavior, his or her behavior. And the term, uh, the term anti-social uh, uh, character has always been used as a synonym for um, psychopaths. You know, that is another name of um, mental um, problem a person has, a person who has mental problem. This label or term describes uh, this behavior outside of the community's common um, ethical standards and consider it um, one of the most serious uh, psychiatric uh, disorder. And the, um, the, this person, or uh, we can say this group, are looking for legendary values and do not feel the need for breaking due to their um, excitement or impulses. Because of the, um, the search for pleasure, they're working, they're um, actually searching for pleasure and um, the weakness of um, will, they actually um, come easily um, to drug, they caught up in drugs and the alcohol. Sexual um, deviations are seen in um, 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 many of them, and uh, um, they commit they commit to crime without feeling guilt actually, and um, they never regret of uh, joining to uh, crimes. They break into criminality. Um, and rule um, when they fall into the law um, that's this behavior and um, they show is uh, interesting actually they uh, are they act so positive they uh, they show uh, regret of doing the crime and to get um, um, to get uh, um, you know to exempt of the punishment and um, and they rarely fulfill their promise and um, they're saying have not um, any relation with other feeling and action. So, <clears throat> patient with personality disorder have abnormal mental, emotional, and behavioral pattern that go back to adolescence and um, um, or early adulthood. These people are mentally or functionally de uh, defective because their interactive methods to, other, um, to others and, um, are invulnerable and um, we can say um, maladap maladaptive. Most people are not aware of their disorder uh, and therefore immediate treatment for this disorder is not possible. A person with 
antisocial personality, this um, antisocial personality of or disorder um, has um, different behavior since childhood, less caution, and um, the, um, and uh, therefore more at risk and more um, they're more sensitive to crime, um, more talented to crime. Um, antisocial personality disorder um, often has a uh, natural, even warm and loving appearance. And um, they, they actually uh, speak and talk um, very well. But in their history, there are disruptions in too many areas in their life. A uh, patient with antisocial personality disorder do not show any depression or anxiety. Psychotherapy is sometimes effective in the treatment of this um, group. Um, treatment may include the management of anger and violence. Um, treatment of um, addiction and the other mental health problems. There, uh, there is no definite um, uh, uh, um, certain drug. There is no certain drug that has been approved as a standard drug or cure for this uh, kind of people. Um, uh, in fact, the doctor um, ordinarily um, prescribe medication just to help them for um, uh, side effects of the, their behavior, like some of them had depression or um, disorder in sleep, just um, for this effect, or I can, we can say side effect of the anti-social disorder. And um, it's happened um, uh, in, in a group of society, 3% um, men and 1% women. It, um, more, it happened more in um, male groups, more than uh, female. And uh, it's rarely um, shows in um, child and um, children, but it might be happen in childhood too. And what caused um, of um, absorb uh, absorb what what things absorb this group to a terrorist? <coughs> Why they they gonna um, go and join to terrorists? You can see many European people even to join to Daesh or ISIS. Um, and uh, these psychologists um, think that um, some, uh, some of these uh, options can be um, the reason. Lack of emotion, lack of, emotion, um, lack of satisfaction of need, need um, for belonging. They really like to be um, belonging a group, has an identity. And um, because of some behavior that people um, see from them, like like um, uh, uh, loving to crime, doing some criminal action or some violence that may, they, might, they might show. Um, people um, reject them. So they need to, uh, belong, to be belong to a group, need to uh, gaining identity and desire for social status. Um, this methodology uh, is a case study and um, Data, uh, data for this case is, are collected um, by structured clinical interview and um, for therapy sessions. And one of a case, uh, one of a, a case for uh, this study was a 27 years old male suffering from antisocial personality disorder, and he uh, was treated based on wish actualization. And the main um, uh, hypothesis of this research was that this approach improved the, uh, improve and reduce the, um, the symptoms of antisocial personality disorder. Uh, treatment process was performed in 20 sessions. Uh, 
um, in this case, an adult was um, the case of the study, and, um, and they, they want to uh, expand and grow this study and um, work for different group of people, but for now it's amazing that they can and, you know, change their life for some people and uh, they can call it a success um, in um, this case. Um, <coughs> And um, the point is that this trophy session based on the wish actualization method. Um, it, um, based off um, wish actualization method, this method's name is wish actualization. It's not that you think uh, the wish come on and the wish grow through, no. It's the name, um, the name of this method. That this, um, um, actually this method, um, work and refining patient identity and emphasize on uh, creating a common identity. <coughs> Learning to control, and please go back, go back. Learning to control anger and um, um, violence and impulsivity, excitement, and uh, using the wish actual, with using the wish actualization method. And this method helped them um, to get their needs. One of their needs is um, feeling safe. They need to feel safe. Um, they need to um, belong to groups and have new identity or find, find and um, gain some identity. And that's why they joined to the terrorist group because they have a big name. Many people are scared of them. So it's amazing for them to join to that group and be famous or come on and have a big name or a scary name. <coughs> Appearance, um, um, I'm sorry, acceptance of yourself and other members of the group, even accepting those who differ from us. Um, they, they can accept uh, that they are different from the others and uh, actually accept the other people that they're different. Which actualization help people to accept other people actually different people. People who are different, um, they have different idea, different even appearance, different eye, skin color, and um, even religious. Um, group correlation lead to positive changes in the patient. Therefore, accepting each other despite all the differences respecting these differences and working with the group, create a group belonging and um, solidarity, solidarity and uh, eventually make changes in these individuals. Um, it seems that um, looking to everyone or looking to other religions with the view of ultra religious is the base of the uh, wish actualization method. And um, it's a new way to treat this, uh, this disorder. And um, we, ho we hope, we have this hope that in future we can bring more um, credible results from this method. And wish actualization method has a founder. And uh, you know him because of uh, Mrs. Hosseini's um, presentation. The founder of this um, method is Mr. Burujerdi. Mr. Burujerdi has, I'm done. <laughs> Mr. Burujerdi has a 30 years experience working with different group of people, different group of religion, different group of um, um, ages, people with different ages, youth, adults, and women and men. And he has <coughs> successful results to absorb them to their um, follower um, from different even culture, because in Iran um, there are many cultures, they live together, some of them fight to so other one because the culture is different. But um, between the followers of him, you can see all the culture, all the religion, and also um, he could um, absorb the, um, some terrorists, some people from some 
terrorist group, and they come and learn the <coughs> truth about the um, religion and what religion wants or expect from them. I think I need I needed some water. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening.